Baki ends up inviting his dad to dinner and realized this is an issue for national security. There's a riot shield squad outside protecting the vicinity of this raggedy ass shack. It's like throwing two pieces of dynamite into a room and seeing which one blows up first. But Baki sure is loving this family dinner. He's glazing the shit out of everything Yujiro does. He's glazing how he's holding his chopsticks. He's glazing how he bows to the food. He's even glazing to how well he finishes his fish. Bro is just a glazing gladiator at this point. But no cap, he had balls asking Yujiro to do the dishes. And Yujiro even went with it. My man said, I bet. But let's play rock, paper, scissors. And he even lost. At least that's what we all think. My man deadass takes the scissors and cuts the rock. Bro even starts lecturing him. Remember this, Baki. There are some scissors that cut rocks. Like, that's tough. I also found it funny how this man went outside just to bitch one of the feds. And we all know bro doesn't get paid enough for this. I just realized while editing this video that they clapped this man's face up. My God, <laughs> what they do to him. But the next day, Baki ends up getting invited by Yujiro for this dinner. And it, it is fancy. I'm talking five-star Michelin risotto on caviar type shit. And Baki's nervous as hell. I mean, he got an invitation for the first time to this bougie ass restaurant and he looks like trash he's really wearing a pink cheetah print top with sweatpants and the Estafirullah 12s like what the fuck are those but let's be honest the dinner was a shit show bro just drops a bombshell within like the first few bites hey dad can you tell me why you killed mom like damn Yujiro looked like he just heard Kozu got pregnant and it's not like he didn't know why his mom died she punched Yujiro in the face and said fight me like at that point you checked out you ready to meet the the Grim Reaper. And obviously, Yujiro's pissed. Like, his testosterone levels got so high that the building started shaking, and Baki started to get disciplined. Like, imagine getting spanked so hard, your ass almost flies out the window. He does that shit to a normal civilian? That's attempted murder. But if he does it to Baki, it's just learning a lesson. Which, to be fair, I mean, <laughs> I grab one of my parents' collars, mashallah, they will send my ass to heaven. So Yujiro starts putting Baki in a blender. Bro has his body playing Portal 2 just without the portal and i low-key feel bad for the people on the other side like it's either you get the check or you die with your ravioli and usual's taking this to a whole new extreme bro is pressing baki's body up against the window and jumps off that bitch like he's in assassin's creed but now baki's chilling on the floor and this is the most fatherly thing i've ever seen this man do he reaches out his hand to get baki up but apparently baki doesn't need any sympathy and tries to slap the shit out of usual bro this man's neck did not move and in return you got slapped right back into the restaurant and look at the police they're acting like they're gonna stop this man as a unit like get your ass out the way before your child loses a father what are you doing either way baki continues to get his ass beat and it's low-key kind of sad to see like everything you've prepared for up until this moment has gone out the window like you've specifically trained to become a human punching bag but instead of getting prepared to get punched in the face my boy's getting whipped like damn bro got whipped so hard he started running through glass and Yujiro got hit with the same move but instead of showing pain he just starts flexing his muscles man's look like he trying to bust ass but he's sitting next to the bad bitch at school and somebody tell me why takugawa comes out the cut saying hey baki you can fight him all you want the restaurant has insurance like boy if you don't shut your ass up do you not see what's going on but at the same time baki has not taken this fight seriously at all and i don't even know how that's possible like a few seconds ago Yujiro dropped your body like you guys we're playing fall guys yet for some reason you just put this under daddy issues like buddy he's been trying to beat your ass since day one you came out the womb and he thought uh a worthy opponent nevertheless baki gets serious and sends usual's body through the wall and into the bathroom and usual was impressed bro wanted to know who baki's teacher was but we know damn well he wasn't gonna say because it turned out to be a beetle but i can't cap he caught that shit elegantly, then proceeds to grab him by the waist and Batista bombs him through the wall. And they're back outside. But there's just one problem. There's really an entire audience outside watching them fight to the death. And usual shook. I mean, like, the f*** is going on? Like, <laughs> who are these people? So he starts telling Baki, hey, listen, let's just let's just do this another time. Like, I, I can't be bothered. And Baki says, f***ing up. I'm a beat your ass in front of this entire crowd and hits Yujiro with a three piece combo. Unfortunately, that only did like one HP damage. Plus, he tried to do the same move on Yujiro 
he did not move and once again my boy gets smacked across the face so bro tries to retaliate and get smacked across the face for like the fifth time i don't i don't know how many times it's been and i'm getting worried for baki's relationship at this point like kozu is not gonna recognize him by the end of this fight and obviously he didn't want to bring shame upon his woman so he just started firing my boy looked like a gatling gun but yujiro once again does not seem to care also while all of this is going on baki ends up sensing pickle on top of the restaurant and decides you know what let me show him something good and pulls out his special move tyrannosaurus rex this man dead ass just turned into a power ranger what are we doing but this move is kind of od i mean he was able to drag yujiro and flip a car but yujiro still isn't impressed because well he's not a tyrannosaurus rex and this man dead ass started acting like frieza he said let me show you my final form and just shows baki the strongest creature alive and i won't lie that's arrogant as hell but still kind of cool so baki decides to pull out the uno reverse card and somehow enters the avatar state and snipes Yujiro's chin. He really had brother's face parallel to the ground. But you got me f***ed up telling me he caught himself. Like, how do you even get your foot in that position? And for the first time, we actually see Yujiro impressed with Baki. Really took his ass six seasons to say good job. But Baki wasn't about all that fufu shit, and he's trying to get away from Yujiro. But Yujiro's got him locked in, and instead of patting him on the head, he starts beating his ass again. Even Pickle's trying to jump in on this, but he gets clocked in the mouth. Baki really had him sit his ass down. Crisscross applesauce. And now we're at the final portion of the fight, and I'm gonna skim over a few things because... My god, they talk so damn much. For starters, they end up playing a game which results in Baki pissing his pants. I'm being dead ass. Bro straight pee peed himself. After that, somehow Baki's grandfather resurrects from the dead. Like he dead ass came back to life just to tell Baki to beat his son's ass. And the third and final thing is that Baki unlocks the demon brain, which now that I'm saying it out loud, sounds kind of crazy. And some of you might be asking yourself, hold on, this man is speeding through way too much shit. And to answer your question, Kozu told them to stop talking and start swinging. Kozu! Kozu doesn't even speak. And yes, Baki did get used as nunchucks, which I feel like some of y'all want me to say that. So there you go. Now, after getting bitched by Kozu, they decided it was time to finish the fight. And at this point, Baki no longer believed in defense. So this man did what any psychopath would do and started to jump Yujiro. And I can't lie, he was cooking. Loki even had Yujiro looking like a masochist. But obviously that didn't last for long because Yujiro put his ass down. And I thought Baki got hit way too hard because he got right back up ready to do the Rey Mysterio 619. But because this is real life, it didn't work. And would you look at that? They're bonding. This could honestly be Yujiro's signature move fatherhood too bad Yujiro was too embarrassed because Baki got slapped on the head and from this moment on the fight became poetic like Baki didn't even know if he was fighting like bro got slapped up so many times he was just running on autopilot and the saddest thing about all this is that Yujiro finished this fight in the most disrespectful way possible this man really broke Baki's back the same way he broke his mother's back pause that that truly did not come out the way it was supposed to but you get it and you would think after all this that Yujiro won the the fight no they ended up tying all because of some imaginary hot pot if you don't get it it's okay i don't either nevertheless i hope you guys did enjoy this video and 5k likes because uh i'm back